Eduardo's goal is to find a job that provides an income of at least $45,000 a year. Karen's furniture offers him a job paying a base salary of $17,000 a year plus a commission of 6% of his sales. Determine what Eduardo's total sales will need to be for him to have a yearly income greater than or equal to $45,000. So let's let I be equal to his annual income and let's let S be equal to his annual sales. Based upon the information from Karen's furniture, his annual income I is going to be equal to his base salary of $17,000 plus 6% of his annual sales. 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06, so we'd have plus 0 0.06 times S. And now because Eduardo wants his annual income, to be greater than or equal to $45,000. He wants I to be greater than or equal to 45,000, which means 17,000 plus 0 0.06 S would have to be greater than or equal to 45,000. Now if we solve this inequality for S, we can determine what his sales would need to be in order to make at least $45,000 a year. So we want to solve this inequality for s. We solve an inequality just like an equation, except if we multiply or divide by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. Let's isolate the s term first by subtracting 17,000 on both sides of the inequality. This would be zero, so we have 0 0.06s must be greater than or equal to 45,000 minus 17,000 is equal to 28,000. And now 0.06s means 0.06 times s. So to solve for s, we have to divide by 0.06. Notice here we're dividing by a positive, so we do not reverse the inequality symbol. So on the left side, this simplifies to 1s or just s. On the right side, we have this quotient, which we'll evaluate on the calculator. We have 28,000 divided by 0.06. We'll round to the nearest cent, so we have $466,666.67. Which means if Eduardo takes the job with Karen's furniture, he will need to have at least $466,666.67 in total sales to have a yearly income greater than or equal to $45,000. I hope you found this helpful.